Hello YouTube. Uh, today I'm going to be installing this uh, Hogtoons Bluetooth wireless receiver controller. Uh, part number as you see BTS-AA. Basically what this does is it, um, it allows you to connect a Bluetooth device so you can uh, listen to your radio through Bluetooth instead of having to have that uh, a cord or tether running from your device to the auxiliary input. So this should be pretty cool. Uh, First things first, we want to get this uh, bat wing fairing removed and out of the way. Okay, tools for this job, you'll need a uh, ratchet. I got a quarter inch drive, quarter inch extension with a 5 16th socket, 5 16th ratchet wrench or just a regular wrench will be fine. Um, we've got the uh, 3 16th Allen wrench, then a Torx T25 and a T27. This is the wire tap that I used, but if you're not if you don't have anything plugged into your cigarette lighter as an accessory on the back of the cigarette lighter, then you don't need the wire tap. The only, the only reason I needed it is because I'd already plugged into that for signal wire for my amplifier. Okay, so on to the bat wing removal. All right, so here's the device here we're gonna be installing. It looks pretty cool, it's quality made. Uh, these buttons are raised, so that's cool so if you're riding with gloves on. Um, as you see, uh, I think what we're gonna do is remove this ambient air temperature gauge. Uh, any of the four, ambient, fuel, volt, or oil, you can remove, but of course you need all those except air. I mean, it's just ambient, and normally it's not even right. So that's the one I think I'm going to take off, and it is buried back there too, man. Okay, so we have to get up in there. This is the, uh, these are 5 16 nuts, so it's the same down here for this one. If you can see my finger down there, Rop. excuse me, yeah, get you a pool right there, uh, 5 16 Okay, there we go, that's the ticket. See, we're not gonna be we're not gonna be reusing these, so I'm not worried about having to get them back in there. So that's why I didn't want to take this off. If I can just get this gauge out, I think I can without without having to remove all this stuff. Alright guys, I've got the nuts off. Um, in order to uh, to get this gauge out and pull it out of the front, and you've got some plugs that we have to unplug, these they look just like this. And the only way to really get on it, to get my hand in there to pull it off, is going to be to remove this bracket. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to swing it out of the way so I can get my hand in there. That would be your 3 16 and Torx T25. If I can just get that out of the way like that. Now I should be able to get on these plugs and unplug them. There we go. Okay. Out. I'll take this piece out. So that's what we got, guys. So one of the plugs was for your light, and the other plug that plugged in here was just power to it. Um, obviously it doesn't read anything when it's powered down. All right, so as you can see, this is what we had in there. And it had this little, this little uh, casing, for lack of better words, that, uh, that was holding it in with the two, with those two uh, nuts that we had to take off. 
So that's the way that it was. So then again, the light went there and another plug went. This will go through the hole, and I don't believe we'll be using this bracket at all. There's no need for it. You just had this big, this big plastic nut and this big washer. It's about the same diameter as this was. So that'll hold all that in. Then these wires are a lot longer hanging out the back, and that's how we get power to this thing. So on to that. Run this through uh, the uh, the hole where the uh, air temp was. Then we're going to put the uh, this plate on first, followed by the rubber piece, then the nut. And of course, before we snug the nut up tight, we want to make sure the orientation like that is the way we want it. So let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, this is where it's going to go, and I'm going to have it oriented about like that. But I'll dial it in once I get this uh, the nut and the washers and all. Thread it up through here. Let's do that now. All right, it's in there pretty, uh, pretty much like I want it. I'm gonna get my flashlight and shine down in there and make sure uh, everything looks good, nothing's pinched. Yeah, everything looks good. Let's make sure our orientation is the way that we want it up front. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm not uh, not too picky. Yeah, that's fine, that'll work great. All right, so now I'm just gonna reach in and snug that uh, big plastic nut up real good with my hand. All right, so this, uh, this is your uh, auxiliary lead coming off of there. It's gonna run over here. We're gonna go under and out to the radio. Uh, move that out of the way. This orange uh, setup is your signal wire uh, for power. Um, is what I assume it's for power. They want you to plug in here to the cigarette lighter where you can see um, I already have, because I'm running the Hogtunes amp and speaker uh, set up. Uh, you can see that in a separate install video I have. So I think what I'm going to have to do is uh, use a wire tap and just tap in uh, to this wire here with that wire tap and that should be fine I'll go through that in a minute like I was saying this auxiliary here I'm not going to be using if you had like a second device you want to plug in you can uh, but in my situation I'm not going to be doing that and then the instructions walk you through where to plug uh, this wire here up so we will uh, do that now okay so the instructions tell us to uh, my whole light bulb and all came out so it says to uh, take this black wire here and plug it in where the black wire uh, used to be there. So we'll unplug the light bulb, get it out of the way, like that. And, and then plug this into the black. So that would be like that. Okay, now for the uh, for this 1 8 uh, wire, they tell you you can run it right through there where the uh, grommet is for the handlebar. Right here. See where the handlebar comes out of the interfering? Right here, you can run it out right there and come around up to your uh, auxiliary uh, input there. Um, so I believe that is, that's the way I'm gonna do it. As you can see, now we're out right here. What I will do is probably run it up and over. Like that. Come from the underside. Up and over like that. Come into the underside and plug in. Just like that. Alright guys, so what I ended up doing is I took, uh, I had these wire taps. And so I just left this hooked up to the uh, cigarette lighter from my Hogtoons speaker system. If you don't have... Uh, the hog tunes uh, speaker and amp then you don't have to worry about this you can just plug straight into the cigarette lighter uh, which would be there and then you would uh, this lead right here would uh, would plug in to this lead it it makes sense if, I, if all this stuff wasn't in the way but since I'm already have already done this one time I just got a wire tap and tapped in there plug the existing piece from this new Bluetooth module directly into there and uh, it gave it power. Now this is probably hot. Now it's co covered by this uh, silicone, 
but I'll probably, for a safe measure, put like a piece of heat shrink over it and heat it up just to further protect it. And then I'm just going to uh, zip tie this stuff, tie wrap this stuff up out of the way so it's nice and neat under here. The unit, basically what you do is when you power up, see I got my lights on, that center uh, hog tunes will blink. Well, when it's blinking, it's in pair mode. So what I've done is I took my iPod and went to my Bluetooth settings and you see hog tunes BTS and it says connected. Um, before I connected to it, it just, you know, said hog tunes BTS and I clicked on it, tapped it and it uh, connected via Bluetooth. Um, so now if I go to my music, I've already, you have to have your radio set to auxiliary and go to my music. And there we go. All right, so that's cool. See, so now it's a lot cleaner. It's Bluetooth, and this this thing, this module here, will connect and remember up to nine devices. Now I don't see where you would need nine, but um, you could, uh, you know, have your iPod. So in my case, I'm gonna have my iPod synced to it and my phone. Um, so nine is plenty enough. And now you don't need to, you know, prior what I used to do, I had my my phone with this Velcro. I had my phone mounted here. And then I had a cord that ran up to here. Um, now I can just leave it in my pocket. So it'd be a lot more convenient. And then when you're going down the road, you can just uh, skip track up or go back or increase or decrease the volume of the device that's in your pocket. Um, you can pause the song. If you pull up to a red light, want to holler at your, uh, your riding partner. Um, then when you take off again, hit it again. So it's really cool. I really like it. Um, I think it'll be handy on road trips and all that kind of stuff. Um, that's it, man. Great install. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If there's any, uh, if there's any tips or anything that you can add to it, in the comments below, man. Just uh, leave your comment, and it could help you know future uh, you know installers that are using this thing.